One of the largest arts and crafts shows in the nation is underway in Clayton. But right now I want to introduce you to one of the artists who's come out here this morning to join me to talk about his work. I'd like you to meet Xavier Nuez out of Chicago and he is a photographer and you shoot some very unique um, scenery, let's say. Tell us about, uh, I don't want to block the work too much, but tell me uh, about what you like to shoot. Right. Um, well, this is a series that I've been working on for uh, 20 years. Um, I go to rundown urban areas and I, um, I bring lighting equipment and they're very bleak, uh, you know, kind of dangerous places and typically regarded as ugly and scary. Um, and I, uh, I've always loved exploring them. Even as a kid, I used to play in alleys. And so I, I really want to turn them around and. Um, I try to create a, a fairy tale version of them, um, and I do that by uh, bringing lighting equipment, um, doing very theatrical lighting. Yeah, and let me. I'm going to step back here. I'm going to come around so you can still talk in the mic. But I'd like you to explain. This is actually shot down on the levee downtown St. Louis. This uh, shot that's here behind us. And why don't you just describe this uh, this picture for us? Um, sure. The, uh, yeah, the, uh, the the Mississippi is just over that. Uh, uh, a hill there. Um, uh, this is typical of how I work. This is a mix of city lighting plus my own light. Um, and I just loved, I, I, I love not being able to see around corners. Um, I want to make these places magical. And, and so, um, you, you know, creating mystery in, in, in trying to make something beautiful that's ugly, you can make the viewer sort of curious about what's mm -hmm. happening and because it somehow seems like a fairy tale image you know it's, is there an enchanted world around the corner uh, and just quickly here as we take a look at your other painting of this other this other photograph uh, photograph I'm sorry this one's from Detroit that you're looking at now right. um, you mentioned to me that you use just quickly here that you have to use a 50 year old camera to get these kind of shots that you really like to use um, yeah I, the uh, the camera I use is shoots film. It shoots big negatives, and uh, I do that because I get amazing quality. It's just better than it than the best digital camera. Um, this is shot in Detroit. This is the Packard plant, the the largest abandoned industrial building in America. Um, it's amazing what <laughs> what a tiny percentage of the whole factory this is. But um, there's an interesting detail in this shot that shows you how I work. Uh, this is my shadow over here. Uh, th that's me holding up the light that created this blue. Um, but I was standing in the wrong spot. I should have been that way a foot. Uh, <laughs> um, One of those unique characteristics that shows up. Yeah, and it worked out because you can see how I how I work. Um, I'm often in front of the camera. Uh, I wear dark clothes and I move quickly and I light stuff. I I was all. You know, running down. This is a, it's kind of an alley. Running down with some blue lights and then some green lights. Uh, lit up the sign with a spotlight. And I had I did this with a, a friend. This is a real nasty corner in Detroit. Um, it's the second time I went there. The first time I my uh, quote, bodyguard was a, a, a very petite girl who it, it just it was just getting kind of scary. So I went back with a fireman friend who had his badge and a big gun and he looked like a cop and he stared down all the gangbangers that would drive by and and uh, they'd see wow. him staring him down and they'd go, we're just looking, we're just looking. Very unique work. If you're interested in Mr. Nuez's work, definitely check him out today here at the St. Louis Art Fair. He will be on Central Avenue off of Forsyth on the north side of the street. Thank you so much for joining My us pleasure. this morning.